Soon we will have a new president, President Trump. He's about to uh, take office and uh, he is ushering a new era uh, in fashion. There are new fashion trends and because of my infinite taste in fashion, I thought that I might be helpful, helpful with a few uh, pieces of advice on the new Trump fashion. So, um, because you don't want to end up like a, on a real, reality show where you get voted off an island. So, let's get ready uh, and figure out what's in and what's out for the next four years. So, first of all, Pink Floyd, the wall, totally in for the next four years. This is what you want to wear, a Pink Floyd uh, t-shirt with the album, The Wall. Uh, something that is totally out for the next four years. Uh, being an immigrant, this is not cool anymore. So uh, I stick out like a sore thumb with my accent and I really it would be ad advisable that I uh, start dressing a little bit more like Larry the Cable Guy with a camouflage cap, maybe have a, a confer confederate flag tattoo or something like this so that oh, I can fade in uh, the crowd a little bit. Uh, Republican Red, totally in. Uh, Democratic blue and especially uh, the green, totally, totally out for the uh, next four years. Because you know, God gave us the earth and we should honor him by trashing the earth. So no <laughs> green for the next four years. Uh, opening the door for women, don't do that anymore. That is not a good thing to do. It is totally passe. So uh, it is better to, uh, if you're going to open the door for women, for disabled people or, or, or anyone or seniors, uh, you know, just pull pranks on them either. That is much cooler now to do. Uh, yielding the floor for Congress members in Washington or for traffic when you drive in your car, this is no longer cool. That is totally out. Uh, it, makes you come across as a weak person, so don't do that anymore. The uh, paying your taxes, totally out. Uh, you know, I don't want to pay taxes anymore. I want to let other people pay for the public roads and everything nice that America has to offer. And uh, I know that it's cool because under President Trump, I know that the R IRS would be totally under understanding with me. They'll just tap me in the back and say, you know, you're a smart man. Uh, TPP, TPP is out now. President Trump, President-elect, President-elect because it's still going to take a few weeks before he takes office. Uh, TPP is out. He promised, promised to repeal it. So, uh, of course, he will rep replace it with TPP, which he's going to call, uh, he will call it Trump Planetary Partnership instead of Trans-Pacific Par Partnership. It'll be totally different because he will be the author of it so that will make it uh, tremendous uh, accusing your opponent of uh, f election fraud it's now cool unless you win so I guess it's you know sometimes I, I get a little bit confused <laughs> with it um, did your uh, second amendment right for the next four years totally in to uh, observe your second amendment amendment right actually if you uh, are being interviewed for a position in the daycare bring your uh, have your AK-47 holstered that that's, that will make a good impression at the job interview uh, however first amendment it will not be so cool so if you are an investigative journalist I'm not talking about you, Anderson Cooper, okay? Let, let's be serious here. But if you are an actual journalist, uh, be ready to get handcuffed, you know, because uh, that's, that will happen to you a few times, I bet. Uh, anyway, oh yeah, also uh, political correctness will be totally out. No more political correctness. Well, actually, and maybe it's in or out, no. Let's, let, let's make sure it's in, unless you want, you know, uh, waiters to spit in your food or a cab driver to just drop you in the middle of nowhere 
I think it's advisable that uh, you keep a little bit of uh, political correctness. Anyway, uh, President-elect uh, Trump was elected. Let's give him a chance to do a good job for the, the American people. I am a progressive. I am not going back. I came out of the closet politically. I am not going back. And we will get through this. America is great. And uh, we're not going anywhere. And you know what? Humor will get us through this because we are not victims. We are survivors. Mr. President, we are here to stay. We are survivors.